go. spreading the lures. We're at a place called Eagle Hawk Neck, where you literally set your lure spread in the harbour. And down in front of the boat here, we're going to run, a, we're going to run along the cliffs here on a big southwesterly. So the wind's coming in over the top of us, over these cliffs. So we've sort of sheltered and we're going to start crawling here. We're going to make our way down to those epic looking peaks, which look pretty tiny in the camera, but I can assure you they are massive. It's actually about 10 miles down there. And uh, when we get there, we're going to be looking for Bluefish TV's favourite fish, bluefin tuna. Roll it out of the harbour and we're setting the spread. I'll just give you a quick run through of the spread. What I've already put out is two divers. We've got one with a bib, so that's going to get down fair way. We've got a bibless which will just swim probably a metre or two under the water and shimmy along there. We run them in tight. The tighter you run your, your, your uh, divers, the harder they'll dive. And then we're going to run behind them. Our whole selection of skirts here. So we've got cut faces, cut faces, and that's a bullet head. So they'll all swim differently. As we tow them through the water, they'll each have different act actions. This bullet head is just a straight runner, subsurface straight runner. Every now and then it might come up, but most of the time it'll just sit under under the water, run dead straight. But they, they really love them. Here we go, you might you might recognize this one from last year. We took two barrels on this. That's a, a JB micro dingo. It's got a cup a cut face. Cut faces are probably the most aggressive swimming lures. Uh, they've got a real wiggle and a, and a real dive to them. So what they do is they'll come up, catch the air, dive down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Expel the air back over the head, come up, catch more air. They'll just keep doing that. Same with the cup face. The, a cup face doesn't dart around as much. It's more of a straight runner, but it, it will also catch air and go down. It'll leave a big bubble trail, all the stuff that the fish like. Just to set the scene, the fishing here has been very quiet for the last few weeks. Again, the boat is not at Eagle Hook Neck this year, Fortuna, per se. We'll elaborate more on that later. But as quiet as it's been in the last 24 hours, it's just picked up. The fish are on here. And uh, there's been getting sort of between 10 and 20 fish per boat per day at the moment. So the boys are going to be busy. I'm happy just to sit up here and keep warm in the hardtop. In the cosy, dry hardtop. So Joey, I'll work the back deck here while Winger's up in his snug cabin. So the rod I'm setting now we call the shotgun. That's our longest lure in the spread. We like to run our most deadly lure there because 90% of the time barrels come off the shotgun lure. So this one's going out long, long, long. Longer than you'd normally put them. Can I shotgun the shotgun? If you're quick enough, you can. <laughs> when chasing big tuna, especially on when they're locked in on bait and bust ups, we like to run all our lures a bit longer than you normally would. It's not so much of the fact that we're trying to raise them with the boat they're not coming up and looking at the boat. We're trying to trick them. So we're trying to get our lures in their face without them being disturbed by the boat. So this is a long way back. As we know, Stuart Nichols is the barrel king down here. He's probably had 40 giants, maybe more now. And he said to me the other day, he goes, 90 to 95% of all those barrels over all those years have come from the lure called shotgun, the one right at the back in the clean water. Very rarely did he get them taken out the boat here. Don't know why, just that is the facts. All right, all right, all right. There we go, everyone. Is that a fish? Yeah. Okay, it's a smallie. Right. I was just saying, have a look at these birds sitting on the water here. 
We're only about two pace in the ramp. We're nowhere near where everyone else is and we're already hooked up, so it's not a big fish, but it's a fish. And there's plenty of bait here on the sand. Come and have a look, Joe. Plenty of bait down deep here. You can see the circle here, we're on a, on a big structure of the circle. And you can have a, have a look. We're not far from the ramp, that's where we started. And this is where we're meant to be sort of going, right down the Hippolyte and below. So we're right near home. Get into it, mate. The most important thing is, these shoes are actually on the hunt. They're going fast and they're feeding fast. They're not on a bait ball, they're on open water. Just chasing down individual fish, I'd say. They're just moving so quickly. And we're just watching the birds. The birds give them away every now and then we see them on the sand, but we never really get on top of on them. On the left, on the left, right in front of the boat. On the left, just dance around. Yep, 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 got them. Shane, at the front here, have a look. Just a few splashes at the front here. Going back oh, cast, cast, cast! Where? Right here, there was just right next to the boat. 20 meters. Under that bird, right under that bird. There? The, the idea of a fast cast is to get it to the water like, like a traceable as quick as you can. If you sort of put a big loop in the line as you cast and let it just naturally fall down, two or three seconds, and, and in that two or three seconds they've gone 50 metres. So you've got to anticipate their nose, you've got to see how they're If they're going that way as a school, you know that they're moving in that direction, and we want to get the lure out in front of them and twitching past them, so they don't have to deviate too much to eat. But what they're not going to do is turn around and go back for the lure, it's just not going to happen. So, we're meant to be out here doing something else today, but we just got seriously sidetracked. But we can come and do this tomorrow, no problem. So I'm only going to give it another 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do Let's try and get Dave, him on a fish, and then we're going to get out of here. All right, Dave, they're just here. All right, you ready? Yep. Hey, I'll just zoom in so we can see them splashing through the glass. Hang on. I'll get around. It's important that we drag the um, the lure in the direction they're swimming. Yeah, it is. Okay. Idea. The grill? Yeah. Right, what well, we've got everyone is we've got some uh, bluefin tuna up on top casting and uh, the birds are the dead giveaway where they are but you can actually see the splashes underneath them. See the birds? Oh yeah, fish came out then. Did you see them Shane? Yeah. The fish are moving quick, the fish are aggressive so you can probably move the, move the lure fairly quick mate. I want you to cast, penetrate the cast past the school and rip it through it. Big sweeps, fairly quick. And they're right on top, you don't need to let it sink. Here's they're taking some catching. I have to get the bow going a bit quicker, alright? I'll turn you off, I'll tell you when. 
Right, they're coming towards you now. Right they're coming right towards you. Mate, wait, wait, wait. Make sure that bloody cast penetrates. Go. Go get it moving. Get it, come on. Yeah. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Hold well on, buddy. Watch out, we can get it. Yeah. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh, you have to draw the boat, Dave. You have to draw the boat. Gotta go in front of the boat. Go left, go left. Here left. he is, I've got colour, he's right here. Left. He's not a bad fish. Left, Dave. Right. No, you're off. Right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks for on the cast. Uh, you, yeah. bo you boated that in one one minute too. So. <laughs> That's my first cast stick bait tuna. Just awesome. Oh, Absolutely mate. awesome. Well, we'll give them cleaned up and we'll let everyone have a look, mate. But we're just watching your relation right now. <laughs> We've just rolled in Eagle Hook Neck. We had the 7 a.m. flight out of Melbourne. Eagle Hook Neck is literally one kilometre there. If you look carefully, you can see the houses. We've rolled out of the harbour and Stewie Nichols is trolling around the middle of nowhere. There's a comp on, there's a 400 boats down there, but there's no one up here. And we saw these splashes on the surface and we put the boat in position. As you saw live, Shane's put one cast in and nailed it. Well done, buddy. On, Thanks, the, mate. on me custom painted orca on the 140 mil floating orca stick boat. Orc, the, uh, what do they call them, the orca pencil? I think yeah, they call them. So, bloody awesome lure. Well, let's get the lure out of him, get him cleaned up, and we'll get him on the car. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> hey. That was just great fun. Well, thank you for taking me on the perch, mate. I yeah, just no, returned the favour. Not a problem, mate. That was all, all, every bit as awesome as those perch, if not more. <laughs> <laughs> just spin it towards the sun, it's head a bit. That's it. Look at that beautiful fish, everyone. It's not a huge fish. What are you giving, though, Wing? Doesn't matter, mate. The way you do it, it's so pure. Yeah, it's. You know, this is not... Surface fishing is the bomb. That's that's where it's at, surface fishing. You've chased a live, active, high-speed predator in his natural environment, and you've deceived him. We've got the boat in position, and you've nailed him, mate. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get trying to get these other boys on one. Let's well do it. Let's do it. Well done. Uh, what is it? A, a, a max wrap or something, you know? A little bibless minnow. 
about an hour in. Just picked up our second beautiful little school fish. It's just an amazing fish, beautiful colours. And even these little fellas down here hit like a ton of bricks. It's pretty rough, pretty hard fighting even these smaller ones in the rough water like this, but here the wind on the boat boys. Yeah. It's uh it's certainly well worth doing. It's an amazing place down here. Right here we've got the, the lanterns right in front of the boat. You're not going to believe how close we get to the cliffs here and we actually pull tuna sometimes with the rod tips nearly scraping on the rocks. The water straight on the boat even here is, uh, what is it, 50.6 metres straight under the cliffs. It's very hard to film and make TV when it's crappy. I mean the camera doesn't pick up how rough it is but it's actually pretty, pretty sloppy out here today. So hopefully as the day progresses the wind drops out and we'll get some better footage. We come over here partly for the fish, but we catch fish at home. It's also part of the, the tour for us. It's such a beautiful place. It's just something to look forward to, and it makes you feel alive, that you're so lucky to come and see this beautiful place. Have a look at it, Shane. Check it out. We're in the shadow of the cliff. But we're going to go on the cliff, so we're going dark any second. hitting the water. It's going to be hard to see, but have a quick look if you can, Shane. trolling at 3,000 RPM, we normally troll at 2, and I'm barely keeping up. That's a sign, we got tuna. Oh, oh that's a big mark. That's a big mark. That's barrel less. Oh no, I'm unbelievable. Can't even keep up with them. There's like a four metre sea out here. What is happening? I can't keep up, Dave. Oh, oh. I can't get near him. I tell you what, we are going to hook up. Direction. I know what I'm doing, Joe. You can't just drive straight at him and drive over him. Can't get near the bastards. Can't get near them. They're, they're flighty like barrels. They're fast, they're big, and they're flighty. Oh, 
Drum band dive. Oh, sorry, man. Double. Double trouble. Good work, boys. Check it out. Oh, wow. Winger did a great job uh, following those birds, and yeah, we got those two hookups straight out of that. So look, it's, it's late in the afternoon. I hope it might still be a chance for a barrel. So it's, we're going to keep on these birds. But check out this beautiful thing. So we got a turn, cameraman. All right. Here we go. One, two. God. Yeah, so didn't they? Oh, look at the bait under us. It's right under us. There it is, tying under the boat. Oh, we can look at it. I can't. Gentle. The sun's set an eagle hawk neck, and that is barrel tuna, and we're out on our own. We're not ready, we've got nothing ready. Yeah, oh, the right here, feature like the FA. 